By the time this video is posted, these movies might not be trending on TikTok anymore, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hello, I'm posting? Who would've? Shocker. So for this video, you read the title, I'll be talking about three movies that have been trending on TikTok recently that got me curious. So I wanted to watch them and I decided to make a video about it and how I liked it. Maybe it'll be the next YMS. Shish! That was my boyfriend. Ah. So the three movies I'll be talking about today is Shin Godzilla, Zoolander, and the P Puss in Boots The Last Wish, I think. I just call it Puss in Boots 2. The first one I'll be talking about is Shin Godzilla, which if you haven't watched Shin Godzilla, it basically parodies how the government just talks and doesn't do anything when their city is literally being destroyed by a lizard that's high on hazardous waste. <laughs> when I saw this on TikTok, I was honestly surprised because Godzilla is a very... It's a topic that not a lot of people like. <laughs> Out of all of them, it's Shin Godzilla. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's just that Godzilla doesn't get a lot of screen time in that movie. It's mostly... The whole movie is mostly just uh, how the government doesn't do anything. <laughs> Literally in the movie, Every time the topic changes, they just go to a different meeting room and they don't do any action. They just talk about how to kill the thing while it's destroying buildings. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to watch this is because my boyfriend has every single Godzilla movie that exists. He's a film collector. So obviously he has it. <laughs> So I thought, eh, I'm gonna see what this is about, you know? And since the movie was all in Japanese and I had to read subtitles the whole time, I had a headache afterwards. <laughs> I still enjoyed watching Godzilla fuck shit up though. It was really cool seeing him evolve through the movie, um, depending on his surroundings, which was very cool. Which is why in the beginning of those TikTok edits and then at the end, he looked different. Which, speaking of the edits, guys. <laughs> Out of all of the songs you could use for Godzilla, you chose a song that's from an app about singing monsters. And move with the sound to the earthquake. You guys gotta do Godzilla better than that. <laughs> it was really interesting the TikToks because a lot of people have very different opinions about him. There were three different sides. Actually, I came up with this. The first side is Godzilla, my boy, I love him. That's the first side. And then the second side is this is disturbing. This is disturbing. Congratulations, you figured out the genre of the film. You figured out the whole point. Good job. <laughs> and the third side is the movie is so goofy. <laughs> Overall, I would give the rating a 6 out of 10. It wasn't great, but I wasn't bothered by it much. And the second movie I'll be talking about, which I am so excited to talk about, Zoolander. This was hilarious. I saw the memes and I'm like, oh wow, this looks phenomenal. And of course, my movie collector boyfriend had that movie too, on a steelbook, actually. They don't make comedy movies like this anymore. I enjoyed every minute of this film, it was honestly brilliant. And when the memes came on, I got so excited, I actually recorded. I actually recorded it. Excuse me, bro. That meme you just saw, imagine that for how long was this movie? 90 minutes? That's the whole thing. That's the whole movie's like that. And some of the outfits in that film, I'd wear. I would wear. It parodies the fashion industry in such a funny, non-insulting way, which I love comedies like that. <laughs> Closing statement? I'm not your bruh. <laughs> Overall, I rated it a 7.5 out of 10. It was really nice. I loved it. Puss in Boots 2. The Last Wish. That movie had no right to be that good. No right. No reason to slap that hard. But it delivered beautifully. Spare me if you can. I went into this movie with the opinion that Shen was like the baddest DreamWorks villain, and I still have that opinion. Huh? Don't don't attack me. Because when you think about it, Death was just doing his job while Shen annihilated an entire race of pandas. I loved the first Puss in Boots as a kid. And I actually thought the first movie was a sequel. 
Now that the actual sequel came out, this was like the deserved sequel to an iconic movie. The animation was beautiful. The jokes, immaculate timing. And you're supposed to be dead. I got better? The swearing in the movie, which I didn't expect. DreamWorks knows we've grown up. We, they know. <laughs> All over my For You page is that damn wolf. And honestly, I'm not complaining. He was pretty cool. I'm deaf. Straight up. And the references throughout the movie, like Aladdin's carpet, Cinderella's shoe slipper, whatever the hell you call it, glass slipper. <laughs> like just so, so many references. And also, Shrek 5? Shrek... Shrek 5 reference? Is that, is that gonna happen? Shrek 5? They teased it. Is that, is that gonna... Unironically, but also ironically, my overall score is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> no, this movie's already pretty nostalgic to me. So just seeing the sequel made my little child heart happy. Hola. I don't know how to end this. <laughs> like, I guess. Do the do the thing I'm doing and uh, see you in the next one next film review if I'm still gonna do these. I don't know <laughs>